Right. I like to call this operation a just exactly perfect operation. No room for anything less than perfection. Someone's life is in your hand. Every stitch, every decision has to be made with a perfect outcome. I am Dr. Pat Pappas. I'm a cardiac surgeon at Advocate Christ Hospital and have been here for the last 24 years. A heart transplant is part of the reason I became a heart surgeon. It's just amazing that someone who was dying of heart disease could have another human being's heart transplanted in their body and could live. The heart stops. We have to move rather quickly. When we stop the heart, there's only a short period of time that we have to be able to do what's necessary to repair that heart before injury occurs. I'm Tony Tatulis. I'm a cardiac surgeon, and I've been here at Christ Hospital over the past 15 years, and a lot has changed. Being a teaching hospital is an absolutely important part of what we do. Teaching other residents, other medical students, nursing students, perfusion students are all part of our daily job. And out into the order, and then what's going back? Additionally, we do a program called Live from the Heart. We broadcast live an operation. This operation allows us to be totally filmed, totally mic'd, and totally able to make conversation with students in Canada and America. We have one group of students based at the Museum of Science and Industry, and the students are able to watch the entire operation, ask questions in an organized manner throughout the operation. Go ahead, Canada, if you guys have anything to do. Uh, this is a question for Dr. Collins. You know, medicine continues to change. We continue to study and understand what we're doing, why we're doing it, and the consequences of what's going on in terms of the management of our patients. It's pretty rare that we do only bypass surgery or only valve surgery. Now it's usually a combination of both as the disease process has become more advanced. Now the patients we operate on are so extraordinarily sick that their very life is in danger at that time. And these interactions we have with them of placing a left ventricular assist device or doing a heart transplant it requires an absolute amazing dedication, but also it gives you incredible feedback, positive feedback, almost immediately. What we learned in medical school and what I learned in my residency and what I do today are significantly different. And the only way that progress is made is primarily through research. And what we try to do is evaluate a problem and say, hey, what can we do to make things better? Research and development is imperative in that the Patients deserve the newest and best technologies to try and save their lives. Forget the fact that we're competing against a disease process that is relentless. At Advocate Christ Hospital, over the last 15 years, we've invested heavily in minimally invasive robotic techniques, which have allowed us to do minimally invasive valvular surgery. Additionally, there's been a tremendous amount of dollars and time and research spent on the technology for LVADs and artificial hearts that has allowed us to be putting these devices three to five years before FDA approval. And this calendar year, we will put in over 140 artificial hearts, LVADs, where the program, when it first started, we were putting in two or three a year. A lot of the changes that have occurred in cardiac surgery, we've been a part of its growth and development, and we're excited about the future. People who would not be alive today are alive because of the incredible dedication, financial commitment of a huge team of people to try and make these patients' lives better.